Hey everybody, welcome to a snowy Keystone, Colorado. We're up here at like 9,000 feet above sea level and we're gonna try out the Ford Ranger in the snow to see how it performs. Yeah, we call these videos first snow because it's the first time we've taken in the snow. Now this Ranger we just purchased, it's new to us, but it's not new, is it, Tommy? No, so this is a 2019 Ford Ranger. I think it's an XL with the STX package and the FX4 package. So we've got some off-road goodies on this truck. It's a 2019 with 4,000 miles. So in this video, we're gonna take it out into the snow to see how it performs out of the box. And if you're wondering how much we paid for it, head on over to All TFL and you can watch that video where me and Andre pick it up at the dealership. Now, of course, Tommy, snow performance is all about tires. So tell me about these tires. Now, this is the Hankook Dynapro ATM tire in a 265-65R17 design. Now, this is an all-terrain tire. If you look in closely here, Dad, you can see it's got pretty big lugs in it it's kind of chunky and it's got some siping in it this is a mud and snow rated tire but it is not a three peak snow rated official snow tire so it's kind of like equivalent to an all season it's got the cool white lettering on the outside it's a pretty good size we have right around 10 inches of ground clearance on this truck so we're going to see how those tires perform yeah we got the uh kind of see it over here we got the fx4 package on this guy uh, which means it's not only a little bit taller but it's also got skid plates uh, so it should be good off-road now tommy obviously dedicated snow tires would be much better much much better for sure yeah but this is how this truck came so that's how we're going to test it now i do want to show you one issue i do have from the snow performance this truck also has these plastic running boards now the unfortunate thing about this is that the ranger is not really tall enough for taller folks to need the running boards and they don't really stick out far enough and they tend to kind of kick up in snow so what these are really good at is coating the back of your thighs in gunk. So that's not the, my favorite design I've ever seen. Yeah, and also uh, with this truck being triple black, uh, it really does show dirt quite easily. But that, you, you can see if you like poke the camera through the wheel well, you can see it's got a matching spare design. Do you see that? At least a tire, which is good. So uh, that's a nice touch. So should we hop in and see what it's like to drive? Yeah, why don't I get you pulling out of here? You want to start? Well, let's talk about how we should do this. So we have four high. We have uh, two high and we have a locking rear diff. So maybe we should try all three of those in different orders. Okay, sure. All right, you wanna pull out in two high first? Yeah, we'll see if we can get out. Okay, see if you can pull out. Now, the cool thing about these first snow videos is it's kind of our first chance to see how good from the factory a truck is off-road. And he's struggling a little bit, a little bit of wheel spin. Barely got out. Hey, back up and lock the diff, see if that helps. Okay. Curious. So now he's going to lock the rear diff and do the same thing. It's a little bit of an uphill, not much. So he's going to lock it. That'll mean that uh, both rear wheels will be spinning versus just the one that has traction. And there you can see the rear wheel spinning. So the thing with the rear diff lock yeah. is they can potentially help you get unstuck, but they're also pretty dangerous to drive around with the rear diff lock because you get a lot of oversteer with both those rear tires spinning at the same time. Let me try rear diff unlocked. We'll try four high. Yeah, try it four high. See what that does. So basically four high uh, means you've got, let's call it two wheel drive, right? Because the front and the rear um, tires will provide end wheels propulsion, but because you don't have a locking diff, only two are spinning. Yeah. Four high. yeah, much better, huh? Let me try one more thing. I'll go four high traction control off. Okay. All right. Floor it. See what happens. What happened? All right. Well, you've only been spinning the rears a little bit. All right. Try again. Four high traction control off. It's, you know, the front isn't spinning at all, just the rear. Oh, because I'm still too high. Uh, yeah. All right. That would explain One more time. <laughs> I think that was uh, just too high not four high all right here we go four high this time around oh yeah look at that didn't yeah. even spin user error yeah all right, all right. Let's, should we take it for a drive yeah, see what it's like now i love trucks especially off-road because um and in the snow uh because they have a lot of ground clearance i believe this has over 10 inches of ground clearance tommy yeah, I was just being silly. I thought it wasn't four high, but it wasn't too high. Now let's talk about the interior features on this truck for a winter driving situation. This is a pretty entry level model. So we have the small sink system here. We don't have heated seats. We don't have a heated steering wheel. We've got this plastic steering wheel, no automatic climate control, just your basic fan speed with your little temperature slider there. And then these are going to be your off-road and four-wheel drive settings. So you can see too high, four high, four low. You got the trail management system there. And then you also have, um, oh, actually these are probably the different terrain modes, excuse me. 
So we've got grass, gravel, snow, sand, um, and normal. And then that right there is going to be your trail control system. Um, so but put it in snow. yeah, we'll put it in the snow mode here and the terrain mode, grass, gravel, snow. You can see it automatically will go into four high there. Yeah. I, I like that. It's a, a tiny screen, but it works. The other I'm thing, a, that, look, the other thing we've got a real key, no push button. I'm still dealing with the after Christmas lull here. So I'm a, uh, <laughs> brain not working up to where it should be but we'll see how it performs in the snow is that called eggnog brain no it's not called eggnog brain <laughs> did i just make that up no now um first impression i really like the steering on this truck it's very precise it's very direct compared to most uh pickups pickups in this class i think it's got really good feedback and feel which is good in the snow for making precise movements uh, now of course this is a super crew truck with the standard bed length Let's see how it turns at slow speeds, it does pretty well. A little and bit of the, traction control kicking the in The back there. end definitely skids around. Whoa. Yeah, whoa, we got a little bit of skidage going on. Now, traction control is pretty aggressive, um, but if you push the off button here, it really lets you have some fun. You want to hop out and we can get some shots of it driving around? Yeah, sure. I'll get, you, know, you try different modes and I'll get you. Let's see what it's like, okay? So what's the first mode you're going to try? This is just going to be four high, okay. um, everything on. Which way are you going, left or right? Okay. All right, here we go. The win yeah, it's a winter wonderland up here. All right. That yeah, tail went out a little bit there, but uh, the truck did really well. So uh, no problems. You know, as I'm sure if you guys have driven trucks uh, before know, if you don't have any weight in the back, it does make for less traction. So back in the good old days when I was Tommy's age, Anybody with a pickup truck would put uh, sand in the bed. There it goes a little sideways. Here comes a car. Let him go. There we go. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna try to make this turn. Make the turn. And you can see it's getting a little bit, but held its line. So you know the nice thing about all-terrain tires is. They are actually pretty good in the snow, um, but now many of the manufacturers actually make all-terrain tires that are in fact snow rated, which would be nice. That means they have that little uh, three-peak uh, snow rating, which means that they have sipes and a tread pattern and a compound that actually sticks in the snow versus getting as hard as a hockey puck. Right, here he comes back again. Make your brakes hard, Tommy. High traction control off. Okay, four high traction control off. <laughs> I think he's just having fun at this point. <laughs> this has certainly turned into more of a Tommy seeing if he can uh, do a little bit of uh, snow driving uh, and less of actual figuring out what the truck is doing. Uh, but overall, you know, the truck uh, is good. I like uh, mid-sized trucks. The reason we bought this truck, of course, is because we have a long-term loan on a comp. There it goes on a, one of the new compact trucks. We have just a full size and heavy duty, so we needed a mid-size. We'll be doing a video comparing all of them. Well, what do you think? So, let me, let me come up here. I have learned interesting what'd you learn so if you push the traction control off button once it displays it then it allows more wheel spin but still a lot of stability control if you push and hold it it'll turn advanced track off and then it allows the maximum sliding that's the uh, most fun you can have in the snow mode that's huh? the most fun you can have in the snow mode so you want to hop in yeah let's talk about let's, let's wrap this up and... here you take the you take this for a sec so i um i like a bunch of things about this truck in the winter i think it's got pretty good visibility out all of the windows easy to see where you're going it's got a really good heater overall really impressed with the heating system now I'm not over the moon about these tires to be honest with you yeah they seem kind of uh, they seem kind of compromised they just don't have the bite that I would really like I mean I know it's not a three peak snow rated tire but I've driven plenty of all terrains that don't have that three peak snow rating that have decent bite in the snow this performs a lot like a standard all season tire in the snow that you'd expect on a passenger car so I'm not really in love with these hand cooks um, I do like 
all of the different modes in this truck. I like how you can turn everything off, and I really like how quickly it transitions between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. I also like this engine. It's got a very progressive power band. It starts out a little bit slow, but quickly the turbo spools up and that little 2.3 liter hits hits the, the power band. Yeah, especially up here at like 9,000 feet above sea level, the turbochargers are really nice because uh, they do make up for a lot of um, loss of power. And that, that sound you're hearing is fake. Yeah. It's not real. It is fake for sure. Yeah, and I like that you can kind of have some fun when you turn everything off, which is cool, but we'll turn it back on to stay you, safe. You, you know what I like to, the way I like to test tires is I like to go down a hill and just hit the brakes and see like how quickly the ABS comes on. See, that, that comes on really quick. Yeah, really if you, quick. If you compare that to like a dedicated snow tire, it'll just stop. Or even like a KO2 with the three peak snow rating. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. And we've got these kind of slightly icy, but mostly slushy conditions out here today. Um, here comes the hill. Are you oh, wait, ready? Wait, here's the snowman. I'm sliding into the snowman. Now you're sliding into the snowman. Yeah, that's no good. Yep. All right. Well, I would give the truck, um, I would give it an 8 out of 10 in terms of snow rating. I would give the tires a 5 out of 10. Uh-huh. Uh, and I do like all the different modes. I think, you know, Ford does a great job in that, you know, this, I priced this out today, by the way, this truck, if we were to buy it today, uh -huh. uh, and it came out to this exact same spec at $38,000. And I like the fact that you do have all these different modes. You do have the locking rear diff. It's only a $400 option, actually, Tommy. Yeah, that's a really nice that's thing. A, that's a bargain, yeah. Now, the locking rear diff, not particularly useful in the snow, in my opinion, at yeah. least for everyday Should juniors. we go back where we started? Let's go back where we started. Yeah, but very useful off-road, of course. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I don't know if a locker in the snow really does help you. I guess it does spin both tires at, tires the, same at the same time, yeah. But, you know, if you're going to put your money into anything in the snow, do Definitely it. Definitely do tires. Tires don't do lockers, yeah. All right, well, we're about to pop back in. Oh, look at this window window. I'm going to zoom in on that. Look at that, Tommy. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. It's pretty good stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, there you have it. Uh, our first snow in the uh, new... Uh, to us, Ford Ranger, oh, like I said. One yeah. more thing which is good is the FX4 here. We do have recovery points in the front of the back. So if you do get stuck or if you do want to help someone get unstuck, you do have that wonderful option. You seem like you're very confident though driving this. Well, yeah. It's, it's also, of, look, look there, that understeer. That's 13 miles an hour and it's all understeer. Yeah. And it's not so good. There's another good thing about a midsize truck what? versus like the Hummer EV. If you get it stuck, you could probably get a couple people to help push it out yeah pretty easily <laughs> well you're not going to do that with a big old ram 2500 cummins no way all right guys thank you for watching as always this is roman and tommy we'll see you in the next video ciao